Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, July 12th, 2021. I am Fredicia Liburd. A sitting of the Nevis Island Assembly will be held on Tuesday, July 13th at the Assembly Chambers at Hamilton House. According to the order paper circulated by Clerk of the Nevis Island Assembly, Myra Williams, during the sitting, Minister of Finance, the Honorable Mark Brantley, will seek leave to introduce and have read a first time the Nevis International Insurance Amendment Bill 2021. Minister of Communications, the Honorable Spencer Brand, will seek leave to introduce and have read a first time the Nevis Building Contractors Registration and Regulation Bill 2021. During the public business session, Junior Minister of Health, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, will move the second and third readings of the Nevis Solid Waste Management Authority Bill 2021. The sitting will commence at 10 a.m. and will be broadcast live on Nevis Television, NTV Channel 99, and streamed live via Nevis Television Facebook page and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honourable Dr. Timothy Harris, has announced measures which see the reopening of the economy in a phased and safe manner. Prime Minister Harris says the measures are based on recommendations from the National COVID-19 Task Force emanating from widespread consultations with key stakeholders. Starting Monday, July 12, 2021, there will be no 24-hour lockdown. A night curfew will remain in place but will now be imposed from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. daily. All businesses may return to normal working hours subject to the curfew and they must conform to all safety protocols. These of course include the construction sector which can resume normal operations, our barbershops and saloons which should have no more than two to four customers waiting of course, this is based on the size of their establishment. All vendors, I repeat all vendors, are to remain in the public market. I repeat all businesses, as at Monday, are permitted to return to operation subject to the curfew and the observance of the COVID-19 protocols. Number four. Passenger buses will be allowed a maximum capacity of 10 passengers. Under the statutory rules and orders number 30 of 2021, inter-island ferry services and church services may also resume. Sporting events will be allowed in accordance with the conditions outlined in the new SR Renault. Social gatherings will be permitted but organisers must first apply for permission from the Commissioner of Police. Beaches will be open for exercise only. Protocols for entry into St. Kitts and Nevis remain in full effect. Quarantine for incoming fully vaccinated passengers will be reduced from nine days to three days with testing on the fourth day and release once the test is negative. Children under 18 years and accompanying their fully vaccinated parents or guardians will be treated the same as their parents or guardians in relation to the period of quarantine. Quarantine remains at 14 days for unvaccinated returning citizens and residents. Meantime, all educational places of instruction, including preschools, nurseries, daycare centers, or other early childhood education facilities, may apply to and operate in accordance with the directives of the Ministry of Education. Still to come, unemployed to benefit from government's new income support program. The details right after this break. One Nevis, one Nevis, I couldn't rest, I have to get this thing off my chest. 
I am King Astro, four times Culturama Calypso Monarch, and back to back Sinkis Nevis National Carnival Calypso Monarch. And I took the COVID vaccine because I want to do my part in the fight against COVID-19. I am feeling a sense of peace in my mind. My body is feeling great. So I'm encouraging you all to go out and vaccinate and help us fight this monster, COVID-19. I said, don't wait, vaccinate. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. This message was brought to you by the Department of Public Health, Nevis. Welcome back. The Nevis World Heritage Committee is in need of desktop researchers to join its team. Nevis is currently making an application to UNESCO for World Heritage for a serial nomination themed Nevis, an early colonial Caribbean agro-industrial landscape. To this end, the committee is urgently in need of additional desktop researchers to help locate vital information on the authenticity and integrity of a number of historical sites on Nevis and their universal value to match and support the theme. The properties are Nevis Peak, Saddle Hill, Round Hill, Bath Hotel and Stream Complex, Fort Charles, Jews Cemetery, Charlestown Courthouse, Charlestown and Gingerland Methodist Churches, St. Paul's, St. Thomas's, and St. James's Anglican Churches, Cottle Church, Slave Landing Site, Slave Market, Mount Travers Estate, Hamilton Estate, Cholera Cemetery, New River Coconut Walk Estate, Golden Rock Hotel, Hermitage Plantation, and Old Manor Hotel. The committee has a prepared bibliography for the research as well as a template to guide the volunteers. The process will be to read as much as they can about the individual sites, keeping in mind the proposed theme. Volunteers can do the research from anywhere with a computer and internet. The deadline for the results is Friday, July 16, 2021. Email Chair of Nevis World Heritage Committee, Evelyn Henville, at evelyn53 at aol.com. The Government of St. Kitts and Nevis is implementing another income support program in the sum of $15 million to assist persons who have been unemployed since March 2020. These citizens, of course, must be registered with the Social Security Board. The Social Security Board then will be able to verify whether or not you have returned to work. A monthly stipend of $1,000 will be paid for the next three months. However, persons who have already received more than $15,000 in seven payment after March 2020 would not now be eligible to access the program. Persons receiving assistance under the PAP would only be entitled to receive an additional $500 under the income support program. Persons who are already receiving the $1,000 stipend from the government are not eligible to benefit from the new income support program. We want to serve the largest number of persons who are adversely affected by the pandemic. And we do not want to give one person, as we would say in the good old days, if you go up with an old grandmother, we now put pan put in relation to this. So you're getting something, you can't get another set. And somebody else out there in the community who is in need, that person is not allowed to receive a benefit. Our priority is to support those most in need at this time and to support as many persons as possible. In other words, we want to be fair and we want to be equitable in the reach and support, in the reach of the support which the government is 
and will be providing. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.